smart TVs nowadays comes uh, with YouTube pre-installed with them and I've seen quite a few people they actually using their TV's remote control to search for their favorite videos so they have to go to the search tab and then slowly type in let's say whatever the video they want to look for but actually did you know you can actually cast YouTube from your smartphone to the TV which means you can immediately load your favorite videos without all this kind of going through this remote control keyboard now here's how you can do it so first you need to make sure your TV is connected to your wireless network to, to check this you can go into the TV settings by pressing the home button the TV we are using here is the Samsung TV with Tizen OS go to the settings you can actually scroll to the network you can check the network status it will tell you yes you are connected to in our case wavelength network unify 5g so I'm just going to close this one on your phone you also have to make sure you are connected to the same network as well now when you launch your YouTube app on your phone you can see there is a small button at the top right corner there like a Wi-Fi with a TV screen if you press that it will show cast to the TV you're having in the same network in our case it's a Samsung Q950 series so you just press it and immediately you can see we are linked to the TV now so whenever we play a video on the phone let's say we just want to watch this uh, Q800T Samba you can just press play and the TV will start playing the video now here's the thing I'm not too sure if this is uh, unique to Samsung TV only or not I found out that even if my TV is turned off if I just turn on the cast option in my YouTube app let's just say right now my TV is turned off you can see I go to my YouTube app press cast to my Samsung TV connecting and it will actually wake up the TV and well we can immediately play the video on the smartphone and TV starts playing you can even control uh, play pause uh, skip through and even controlling the volume although I won't suggest you doing this instead you can just use your TV to control the volume it's way better for this one and now that's uh, how you can actually cast YouTube from your smartphone to your Samsung TV so that's all for this video uh, do let us know what you guys think about uh, this and if you have any problem casting YouTube to your smart TV and yeah I'll see you guys in the next video